Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today is going to be more of an open discussion or rather rant type video. And so I want to talk about why I'm so disappointed with Halo Infinite and why I think it's the most disappointing Halo game personally for me. Now I know you've probably heard this like so many times, pretty much everywhere on Twitter, uh, other channels, really anywhere, Reddit, and people are frustrated about how Halo Infinite turned out. And you know, I could definitely agree, agree with some people at a certain extent. There is some people that take it a little too far, but uh, <laughs> I do want to talk about my feelings about why this is the most disappointing Halo game for me. So in order to do that, we have to go back to Halo 5. So if you remember Halo 5 Guardians, a game that many people did not like, mostly due to the advanced movement, having thrust, ground pound, etc. Now here's something that's a little controversial, and might, I might get some flack for it, but I actually really liked Halo 5's gameplay. I found it great. I really liked the core gameplay. Now of course you could argue that it's not exactly a Halo game, and I could definitely agree. I can see that. Um, it's not the most Halo, Halo type game, but I think the gameplay was just really great regardless if it was um, not very Halo-like. Because if you were to like, let's say, take away the Halo name and just call it like Arena Shooter Fun or something, then I think it would I still would have played it because it was really fun gameplay. And so with Halo 5, you know, I did like the course gameplay and of course Halo 5 did have a terrible launch just like Halo Infinite. Um, we were missing a lot of modes, there was no social playlist, there was only like four ranked playlists. Um, and then we had Warzone, there was no Forge at launch as well. That was delayed like I think two months. And the campaign was pretty mediocre. Um, I kind of enjoyed some of the levels, like the St. Helios missions were pretty fun. Um, I really liked the skybox that they did on those uh, missions. And there was like a couple cool like set pieces, but that was about it. The story was just like really weird and hard to understand. And so of course, you know, over time the game did get better. Um, of course, if you didn't like the core gameplay, like I said countless times already, um, you know, the game's just not going to get any better for you. But for me personally, since I did like the gameplay, um, the multiplayer was great for me. You know, it was getting consistent updates. We started getting like new Warzone maps, um, like new wrecks, which introduced like classic weapons like the grenade launcher, the b brute plasma rifle. And like, man, dude, Halo 5 had so many weapons. And sure, some of them were a little redundant, but it was like still so cool seeing like almost I think pretty much every Halo gun in the universe almost come to Halo 5, or at least it felt that way anyways. And so yeah, we'd get new maps, modes, uh, wrecks. Uh, granted, the modes weren't actually new, they were mostly just returning modes. And eventually, you know, we got Forge like two months out, and Forge was amazing, you know, I, I, I think I might remember, I might remember this correctly, but people definitely were hyped about Forge and understood the delay once they were able to get their hands on Forge, because it was amazing. And so, to that degree, I do kind of excuse Halo Infinite and Halo 5's Forge being delayed because Forge has, like, man, dude, Forge has, like, evolved so much. It's probably the only thing that stayed consistent throughout the Halo franchise. It's, like, the only thing that's went uphill. It's gotten, like, better every single game. And so I'm hyped about that in Halo Infinite. Although it still does, of course, negatively, like, impact the experience of Halo, regardless if it was uh, worth the delay or not. Um, just because, you know, it just kind of takes away from the experience, especially for people who are getting their hands on, like the first time, their hands on the Halo game. Those initial players might not be able to experience Halo how like it, it originally was, you know, having all these like such so many like modes and stuff. And it really sucks because that like initial hype is kind of gone. And, you know, some of these players may return, but I feel like most of them might not, or at least some of them won't. But yeah, so if you see what I'm getting at here, Halo 5 was basically good to me. You know, it got a lot more updates. I was frustrated with the launch. I was disappointed. But it at least got updates so much quicker. And then we go to Halo 5. Or, not Halo 5, sorry. Halo Infinite. And we still haven't gotten a new map. We still haven't gotten a new mode. We've played, like, one new mode, which was Attrition. But that was really it. And it's been, like, what, three, four months almost at this point? And we haven't really gotten anything new other than attrition and even then attrition was temporary and it's not even a permanent playlist and so yeah infinite we haven't really gotten anything all we've gotten is really cosmetics which cosmetics are nice but the game still is the same it's fun cosmetics are there you know those are fun it's fun you know dressing up your spartan and stuff but you know that can only go so far you need 
content to keep your you know player base engaged and so the thing with these events as well is that if they were going to do these events they should make them a lot more interesting that way like the game feels more fresh like for example the cyber uh let's say or not the cyber let's say the tenrai event um you know we get super fiesta which we've already played so much before but like for super Fi or rather for the tenrai event they should have made like um japanese like themed maps or whatever you know kind of like throw like some you know just make it like japanese themed or whatever you know make the maps look a little different so it feels kind of like a new experience and it actually feels like you're in an event that's going on in the game so yeah as you can see that are, that is why halo infinite is probably the most disappointing halo game to me because for me it kind of just feels the same to halo 5 i do like the gameplay a little better in infinite but to me it just kind of feels the same except worse because we're not getting any content at all um, as to like Halo 5, we're getting like these cool freaking wrecks and everything because I loved playing Warzone back then So for me, it was really fun playing Halo 5 back then uh, Being able to use like all these like weapons and stuff and like we're not getting anything in infinite We're not even getting a new gun and, or nothing, you know And even then with the lack of content, you know, we still got issues in multiplayer where there's like desync um, You're getting killed through walls around corner shots not registering which was an issue in Halo 5 as well um, I don't think people really realize that, but these issues are kind of the same. <laughs> they were kind of in Halo 5 as well. Sometimes you'd get killed through walls and uh, your shots wouldn't register. So it to me, it feels like it's just Halo 5 all over again. And except this time we're getting less content and it feels even more unfinished. And so that's why I'm just like so disappointed in this game. And I'm sure a lot of people are too. But to me personally, it's just so much more disappointing because I actually liked Halo 5's gameplay. I mean, we don't even have a progression system. Halo 5 had a progression system. Sure, you would get, like, really nothing out of it. You'd actually get, actually, a wreck pack, which would give you some wrecks, although they were pretty lame wrecks, but at least you would get something. And you would even get, like, an emblem. You'd get some emblems. Like, at rank 40 or something, you'd get, like, an ODST emblem. And then, you know, as you go out throughout the ranks, you would get emblems. Like, at 152, you get an emblem. Granted, they are pretty lame, but at least you got something, you know? And at least there was a way you could, like, you know get xp and it felt like you were actually getting rewarded for playing as well and some of you right now may be thinking well you should be playing the game for fun and sure you know you could say that but you can only have so much fun with the content that they give you eventually it just gets really stale and you know you want something new and that's when you move on to a new game or they add like something new to the game like right now i've pretty much just played other games i don't play infinite as much as i want to because there's just nothing to play on it i've pretty much done everything i only come back for the ultimates and stuff or when i just want to play a little bit of btb and have a bit of fun but that's not the way that you know 343 should be doing this they should be having people like wanting to play their game and that leads to them earning more money because the longer people stay in the game the more likely they are to buy skins and stuff anyways that's about all i can say there's probably a few other things i could talk about um, like the campaign. The campaign, I think, in Halo Infinite was alright. Um, I could probably get into that, but I feel like this video is going to get a little... It's going to become a little too long, and it's just going to become a little redundant. I might be saying the same stuff again. Um, but yeah, that's what I think about um, Halo Infinite. Um, it is pretty disappointing, but I do want to end it on a good note. I do think it has the potential to become something great they just haven't fulfilled that potential because i really do think this game could be amazing i mean if we've looked at the forge leaks oh my god man once forge gets added to infinite there's gonna be so much there's gonna be a lot of content to the game once forge gets added to uh infinite like even if they don't get even if we don't get like developer maps or like you know new maps or weapons or modes whatever i'm pretty sure in forge people will create like their own modes their own maps you know forge is like the community is like amazing it's gonna be really refreshing seeing that in halo infinite um i just wish it was there at launch because man imagine if like you know that initial hype where there's like so many players like imagine if all these new players that were exposed to halo and we had like all these core features at launch we had forge we had uh, you know a lot of multiplayer modes and stuff like that and a progression system you know people a lot of new people would be like wow man this, i've been missing out and they would like you know play the game a lot more and it'd be fun you know and they'd probably even go out and buy like the older ones just to like see um you know how the game was and stuff because i've done that with a few franchises like fallout i got into fallout 4 
and you know i wasn't really a huge fallout fan because i didn't really like single player games like that but when i played fallout 4 i really enjoyed it granted that one was a little there's some controversy around fallout 4 because it wasn't very like rpg like or something but you know it led me into the franchise and from there i started kind of branching out and i was like you know what i did enjoy four let me try three and then I really enjoyed 3. I even enjoyed it more. And then I went to Vegas and I enjoyed that one even more. And, you know, the list goes on. And that's just kind of how it works. And it's unfortunate that it kind of launched in this state. But I do think, you know, we'll hopefully have... I don't know if we'll have a resurgence. I don't know if people will, like... We'll have, like, a huge wave of new people come back and stuff like that. But I, th I do think it will be a great game um, after, like, a year or so. It's just unfortunate that we have to, like, wait that long. So yeah, that is what I think about Halo Infinite and why I'm so disappointed with it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is it a great game for you? Because of course, you know, you could have your own opinion. If you like the game a lot, because I do like the game. I just wish there was more to it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, liking, showing your support. Um, subscribing as well really shows your support and I appreciate it very much. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one but actually before i do go i do want to say that now that, that i got my like little rant or whatever you want to call it out of the way i do want to kind of make videos and try to like show what i think would help um with the game like i want to make like a an ideal progression system and stuff like that i think that'd be interesting um you know trying to help 343 get some ideas on how to fix this game up and stuff i think that'd be pretty fun but yeah i'll see you guys on the next one Peace.